Hello Leo, welcome to your future lover reading. Let's go ahead and find out about your future lover. Spirit, tell me about Leo's future lover. Tell me about Leo's future lover. We have a decision. Could be a new sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It doesn't have to be. This is all about making a decision with logic okay really needing to use your logical mind tell me more about this and six of is that six yeah six of coins is all about sharing or giving generously let's find out more what is this decision with two of swords please this is someone going somewhere or relocating. Tell me more about this for my Leo and their future lover. Are you or someone around you going somewhere? We've got the star. This is Aquarius or a guiding light and a wish. Also healing with the four of swords. This is healing. Uh, Leo, you may have been through a really tough trot. Uh, in the last um, recent past so or your future lover okay because this is a future lover reading so they may have been through a difficult time possibly relocating looking for a guiding light healing with the four of swords it's really about healing and feeling drained making a difficult decision tell me more about giving generously with six of coins Tell me about six of coins for my Leo and their future lover. Leo and their future lover. We have wonderful six of cups is, sorry, five of cups is reversed. No grief, okay, basically. And the tower is not going to happen. This is avoiding the tower. Everything is going to be fine. No grief, no tower. All right, that's wonderful. It's about avoiding um, a situation that could end up being bad. Um, or not bad, but I guess what you've worked towards not working out. It will work out. Either someone is going to give generously to you or you will them. Now we've got looking towards the future and spending a fair bit of time alone. Obviously there's um, COVID everywhere so and independent. Okay, this is also Virgo. Uh, the star is Aquarius and the tower is Aries and Scorpio. So we have the Hermit and I think I already said the Hermit is Virgo. So we've got spending a lot of time alone contemplating healing okay from drainage and being tired um, also could be waiting for the world to heal the star with um, four of swords and moving on somewhere so some of you may be relocating or your future love is relocating and they'll be moving somewhere close to you and that's where you're going to meet uh, for some of you okay so spending a lot of time alone focus on the future spending time in independence okay working on oneself releasing things from the past and you've got messages okay coming through these are fast flowing messages in the next week or two let's find out more about these messages spirit tell me what are these messages coming through for my leos they're happily ever after messages Tell me more about this for Leo. What are these happy messages? Release the past, uh, Leo, because the past is long gone. Okay, focus on the future because that's where these messages are and they're going to be happy. All uh, right, but it's almost like you've got this happiness, but you're bringing back the Five of Swords from the past. Okay. All right, so maybe this is your love. Ten of Cups, happily ever after. But they're talking about the past where there was a lot of hurt. Tell me more about this. Why have we got judgment? Because the Hierophant could be a Taurus. Um, someone really trusts and believes in the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Someone really trusts and believes and is committed to the truth 
with the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands could be you. Someone that comes and goes that they see sometimes. So it's almost like <clears throat> I feel your future love has been betrayed quite badly. Okay, with Five of Swords in the past. So your happily ever after will be starting with the healing process okay they have a lot of trust and faith and commitment to truth they may have been betrayed okay and so nine of wands would be you being leo you're coming in and you're sort of sweeping them off their feet every time you do let's go ahead and find out more spirit tell me more about leo's oh wonderful this is very emotional romantic Tell me more about this for my Leos. All right, we got a snake in the city and that is a burden to the wish that we made, a snake in the city. So for a snake to be in the city, it's meaning that um, there is someone that your person may have been dealing with this the tower here is not the same tower as tarot the tower here is actually indicating either a courthouse a school or a learning institution uni could also be the workplace it's also in the city okay a snake in one of these locations someone that you can't really trust or a betrayal okay and that is the obstacle to your wish all right so yeah your person's not been through uh, five of swords they're happily ever after with you lots of romance beautiful romance here maybe they see you nine of wands uh, once a month or every now and then because this is also a cycle and so is the knight of wands it's like coming and going um so yeah they have a lot of faith in truth from the knight of wands so your person's been through a lot but i feel that your future lover so this is someone in the future is going to really rely on you to not be like the snake in the past they want you to be honest and true they they really believe they can trust you and they are your wish come true and there's going to be a lot of romance and emotional connection with each other wow um yeah nice reading it's very enlightening and i feel that this love is going to be beautiful however it's going to start off with you know, something that may be anticipated as a tower. However, it's not going to be. There's no grief involved here. You're going to be fine. Um, and your person may be coming across saying, well, in the past, five of swords have been really hurt or upset or someone um, deceived me and they kept doing it even though they knew that it's hurting me. You know, whether it's a male or a female. Um, and you'll be giving love, advice and emotional support generously. All right, Leo, let me know how this resonates. Personal readings, you can always reach out to me. Obviously, personal readings are a lot longer than general readings on YouTube and they're personalized just for you. Um, you can always reach out to me. All my details are in the description box below. And as always, I send you love. Bye for now.